let's let, let let's take you back to that point when you decided to give e project e20 a go you had a test uh pro kart race land circuit in wackersdorf just uh about an hour outside of munich when you first got behind the wheel of that cart and you had steve and daryl from rotax sort of giving you all the relevant tips and tricks on how to drive the cart when you when you first got in and drove away and then really started to get an understanding of project t20 what were your first thoughts if you don't mind me asking well, indeed, I was blown away. Probably the, the experience you just told me, the, the instant acceleration is nothing like I've ever experienced. Uh, I mean, I, I used to race like regular rental cars, and these are a lot of fun, but not very spectacular. Uh, then, of course, I had some heat in a, in a faster, like um, uh, Rotex uh, with an internal combustion engine, which is a handful and, and much more spectacular. Uh, but the electric version is, is something, it's really hard to describe. Um, it, it, uh, I got interested in this Project E20 because of my work in sustainability. I, I started to see more links between sustainability and motorsports. So I actually was finding out more about what's going on, especially within the world of car scene. And then I, I had a great chat with uh, Stephen Chapman, who, who runs the e-card team of Rotex, and uh, he told me any, everything about the car. They've been running for a, a few years already. Uh, it's a prototype still. And um, he said, okay, do, do you want to give it a try? And of course, of course, I wanted to try. Um, but to be there in, in Germany, in Weckersdorf, with the rain and hail coming down, it was the worst conditions ever. <laughs> Uh, but any weather is could not wipe the smile off my face because to to sit in here have no sound of course it's silent and it's such an instant power and uh, I thought I strained my neck a little bit but uh, I found out much more was needed so uh, no I had a I had a great time and uh, especially with Daryl Daryl Smith he's a test driver mm -hmm. with all the experience in these cards. He could tell me everything about it. Try different lines and, um, well, about all the technology, of course. But the, the instant acceleration is, is crazy. And uh, it's something you will, you will want to experience. Mm -hmm. And actually, since I got in there, I, I said to myself, I never want to do anything else. I mean, electric to me is the future and the future is already here. And it might still be a prototype, mm -hmm. but you can drive these things, you can race them, and it's maybe not for everyone, I understand, but it's, uh, it's something uh, very special. They're, they might still be a, a bit heavy, uh, and there might still be some minor downsides, maybe. Mm -hmm. But if you consider this project, it's all about developing and learning for the future. I think the, the, the E20 already is incredible. We have the E10 now for the younger drivers. Yeah. It's already a much newer car. And I guess the, the car that comes after the E20 with all the experience and the new battery technology, weight reduction, everything, that will be a car no one will be able to ignore.